Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle News update. Man, I saw that Instagram post that Rami put up and I saw all these great uh, video of Rami coming home, receiving the warmest, amazing welcome from his uh, country of Egypt. You know, uh, I, I can only imagine like uh, when Brandon Curry won the Olympia last year, he would have loved to have come right back to his home state. And when he got off the plane, you know, had a, a, a complete parade and, and, you know, whole, you know, host of people waiting for him and, you know, with the things printed up and cars wrapped in his picture. You know, the Middle East really does embrace bodybuilding way more than we do here in the United, in the United States. We're almost looked at as, as, as pariahs. In the Middle East, if you win the Mr. Olympia, it's like you, you're just, uh, you're like Michael Jordan or, uh, LeBron James, you know, and that's, that's awesome. I mean, Rami has to feel so great. You know, he accomplished the, the greatest thing a bodybuilder could ever want to do, win the Mr. Olympia. And he goes back to his home country where he hasn't really been living because he's been, you know, living in Kuwait and Dubai and, you know, trying to be the best bodybuilder he can be. And, and he receives the, this crazy welcome from them. And I mean, the fans are just going rab, you know, crazy there. They just love Rami. I mean, big Rami everywhere. It's, it's, I mean, that it, it just, it makes you feel important. I mean, come on. It validates everything you've been doing, all the sacrifice you've made. You know, Rami's put a lot into, you know, his bodybuilding over the last 10 years. And, you know, this is, this is kind of like, you know, his graduation, so to speak. And it's nice that, that the people who actually, you know, are from the country where he, he was born and where he was raised actually really appreciate and see him as a hero, really, in a sense. Um, and, and, and really can appreciate that what he accomplished in bodybuilding was something special. And isn't that what we all really are after anyway? I mean, we all want to feel special about ourselves. We want to all want to think that all the hard work we put into something and, and the accomplishments we made are at least validated, right? Because if you just do them, yeah, it feels good for yourself and everything like that. But it's nice when other people can validate what you did and say, hey, you know, you did a great job and uh, you you accomplished something that no one else was able to do. And that, you know, that kind of gives meaning to your life in a sense. And I think Rami, uh, when he went back and got off that plane and saw all the, all the craziness that was going on there. And he's seen it in other countries when he's done tours, I'm sure. But coming back as Mr. Olympia has got to feel great because now not only is he a great bodybuilder, but he has been validated as the greatest bodybuilder of 2020 in the entire world. And so I just want to say, you know, once again, big Rami, congratulations on everything you've accomplished and, you know, we should take a play, uh, a page out of that playbook and hopefully, you know, uh, at, you know, celebrate our Mr. Olympias that, you know, come from this country when, when they are, uh, if we ever get another one back <laughs> on the throne. Rami may be there for the next uh, uh, 10 years. It could be a dynasty. But I, we love to see our freaky big bodybuilders up there. And, uh, Rami, you finally, uh, arrived and then delivered the goods. And, uh, congratulations and enjoy your family in Egypt on this, uh, uh, holiday and New Year's type of, uh, week we have going on. You know, the family is what it's all about. And it's nice to go home as the victor and as the champion. And I'm sure you'll be going fishing and catching some great fish on the fishing boats. And you could probably buy a whole fleet now with that paycheck that you just got that $400,000. So enjoy it. And I hope, uh, everyone is having a great uh, Christmas Eve day. And tomorrow will be Christmas, and uh, if you celebrate it, uh, try to spend time with your family and uh, reflect on everything that you've done this past year, and uh, try to do a little vis do a little uh, less doing and a little more visualizing of what you'd like to accomplish in the future. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.